U.S. plans to open second front and stab Russia in the back in the Caucasus. American commentator. The United States is not abandoning its plans to defeat Russia, despite statements about the need for dialogue. Moreover, Washington plans to open a second front by stabbing Russia in the back in the Caucasus. This opinion was expressed by American political commentator Paul Craig Roberts. The United States does not need a sovereign Russia. Washington will continue to implement plans to defeat Moscow. One of these plans is the opening of a second front against Russia in the Caucasus. To this end, the Americans are planning to organize a color revolution in Georgia, removing the current government. The Ukrainian conflict was completely orchestrated by Washington. He tries to blame Russia for this, but in fact, he set it up himself. And now we see how non-governmental organizations that Washington finances in Georgia are trying to organize a color revolution there in order to open a second front against Russia, Roberts said. The United States is now increasing supplies of long-range weapons to Ukraine and are slowly lifting restrictions on its use on Russian territory. Roberts added that the Georgian government has been resisting pressure from its Western allies for a surprisingly long time, repeatedly thwarting attempts at a color revolution. The United States is not despairing and is only stepping up its activity in this direction, hoping to break Georgia before Kiev suffers a crushing defeat. In the current situation, it is vital for the United States to squeeze Russia in a vice in order to deliver an unexpected blow to Moscow in the back. Recently, Russian Foreign Intelligence Service said that Russia has data that indicates the decision of the United States to seek a change of power in Georgia following the results of the parliamentary elections on October the 26th. The data received by the Foreign Intelligence Service indicates Washington's determination to seek a change of power in Georgia following the results of the upcoming October 26th parliamentary elections in the country. U.S. President Joe Biden's administration has already developed a large-scale information campaign to discredit the ruling Georgian Dream Party, the statement read. Давай, все, руки поднимай. Сколько вас? Автомат! 